that's the main skill that I think we're looking for as, you know, in, in anything, in a partner in, um, you know, a relationship and a freaking handyman, um, somebody who can just take care of things that need to be taken care of as they arise. And we don't, we don't know these people from anything, from a hole in the ground. So when you're walking through, you know, for folks that have never walked through with a handyman or contractor, it's ideal to do this before you're holding properties and you're paying holding costs, but make sure you get five to 10 and you might have to talk to 50 to get 10 people yeah. there, but make sure yeah. to have five to 10 people walk through the homes because you're only going to work with two or three of them, but you're going to hear a spectrum of people that some people are just like super rude to you or condescending or immature and you're, it's crazy. And then other people you have that where like the guy's super professional or Something I like to do is ask questions of what would you do to fix this? What would you do to fix this? And then be quiet and listen because some people will ramble on like uh, kind of like they'll they'll brainstorm out out loud. Well, we could do it this way and this way, but then you'd watch out for this and this or to save you a little bit of money. We can repurpose things. And like if I'm listening to that and hearing that. Um, and again, you, you'll have to talk to a few people to hear like, oh, this guy did it a little bit. This guy did it a ton. But um, there's guy or gal. But anyway, it's just that's something I listen for because, uh, you know, it is kind of the problem solving thing because I don't I'm not going to the person I'm hiring. They're the expert. I know about mobile home repairs, but this person that has at least two to four years experience in mobile homes, they're the expert. So I want them to communicate with me and listen to me. And, you know, we should be able to ask them questions. How would you fix this? How would and if they don't know, they should be able to say that I don't have that experience. Usually they don't. But uh yeah, I think what you just said is powerful. Um, and that's something um, I even wrote it down. Um, ask how they would do it. I just ask them, ask them questions. And yeah, so, you know, when you're initially getting, you know, working through the handyman in your area or whatever, you're going to have to call. I said, um, I called every single one of them that's on Google. This was like between 30 and 40, somewhere in that number. Um, I think out of all those, I got three answers. Three three people pick up the phone. You know, about half went to voicemail, half were not in service anymore. Um, so, yeah, if you want to get five people show up, you're going to have to call 50 handyman companies or 50. 50 you got to make 50 phone calls at least to di different numbers, unique numbers. Okay. So, and then, yeah, so I think I made all those calls, between 40 calls, uh, talked to between six to eight. Actually, you know, between them, call me back and talk to the first one. Um, yeah, three were supposed to come. We had confirmed, you know, this time, this time. I had them all come at the same time because, you know, I was, uh, you know, I was, I was busy and I wanted to just kind of make the most out of my time and I wanted to see how they interacted with each other too, or if they knew each other or whatever. I don't know. I was looking for us. Setting a trap. Jeff <laughs> <laughs> uh, Handyman, left and right. What's up? I locked the door. <laughs> but no, nah, so yeah, two up, uh, two actually showed up. Uh, one, you know, as I was kind of walking through and showing them, you know, the home, uh, pretty much said, oh, this is too much work for me. So I knew right away. And then the other one, you know, seemed, seemed to know about, you know, the materials that would be needed, all that kind of stuff, but still actually turned out not to be a good hand, you know, a good partnership um so i think what you said is really important ask them questions and observe and just be quiet like my problem i'll talk way too much so like <laughs> be 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 the one be the one who listens and hears not the one who talks and talks so um yeah i think you know ask them how they would do it have they ever done this before you know you know what do they think or you know you know, just what are they, what do you think is caught? Those things are important because they're going to tell you right away if they know what they're talking about. It's going to be obvious. It's, you know, if it doesn't make sense to you whatsoever, then they probably don't know what they're talking about. Um, right. You know what I'm saying? They just like, if you're just confused by what they're saying, that, that, then they're not been able to explain it clearly enough to where, um, you know, a toddler can understand it, then, you know, they don't know what they're talking about. You're right. I agree. Or not, not not good enough anyways for us um, but yeah so that that's something that I really really want to start implementing myself is talking less listening more and asking more questions when I do talk it's asking, asking questions right 
I'm you know what I'm gonna do probably put like a list of questions to ask Candyman as you're mentioning yeah. that kind of like that just because you're right like there's people that have never done that you know it's like well what questions do I ask what's what's too embarrassing or what's too what's too uh, you know for like I don't want to be rude or pushy or anything it's like hell no you're like you should I mean within reason but yeah you ask whatever questions you want um, if someone's gonna get rude or mad to you or something like that that's we don't want to deal with that person to be oh, yeah, that, that's a red flag if somebody is, is, is difficult to deal with like it be like pretty much immediately right. that is not that that's a sign to where there's going to they're going to be difficult throughout 